Ladies and gentlemen on the Shred Gaming Citicom video, Microsoft is still working on Xbox One GPU optimization, which of course means better graphics performance. For example, you know, you might get higher resolutions, higher frame rates, or indeed just more details on the screen. This is also an article if you want to go ahead and check it out, it's linked in the video description. But getting back onto the subject at hand. So we found this out because Microsoft have actually a job up, um, a job description where they're actually looking for a software engineer to come in to their Ad Microsoft's advanced technology group. Now, ATG, as it's known in the trade, um, have been instrumental in supporting Microsoft's Xbox 360 as well. So what exactly are they going to be doing? In other words, the person who Microsoft presumably will eventually hire. Well, they're going to have several duties. It's not going to be a uh, singular focus. It's not going to be a laser focus, if you will, like a laser straight to the point. Instead, it's going to cover a broad spectrum of different duties. One of the primary ones, however, is they're going to be working with both first-party and third-party developers. What they'll basically be doing is looking at the code from these developers, maybe checking out the performance of how the game is running, and likely using various pieces of software, which of course Microsoft have built, which is part of the SDK. We'll go into that, that a lot further in just a moment, but one of those tools will likely be Performance Investigator for Xbox. If you're not too certain what it is, in a nutshell, it allows developers to find out where their resources are going for the game. So in other words, how much CPU is a scene using, what exactly is eating up GPU, what's eating up ES RAM, and so on, which is really important, obviously, if they're trying to do fine tuning. Maybe not on the first pass of the game, you know, just trying to get the basic code running, but later on, when they're trying to get every last pixel on screen and every last shadow detail possible, this becomes crucial. Now, we do know, of course, that Performance Investigator for Xbox has already gone has undergone several iterations, but this software developer, or software engineer, should I say, will likely be causing new iterations, and we think this because they will, and I quote, be working alongside other software, uh, Xbox software teams on designing and building new features. Now, we all know that Microsoft, as well as Sony, aren't just sitting there releasing the Xbox One and go, well, that's, that's over with, and then walking away. No, that's silly. There's multiple reasons behind that, because A, developers will find bugs, and B, you're on a fixed platform. So, being on a fixed platform, while the hardware specifications can't change, I mean, technically, you could overclock the GPU, I suppose, with, with a BIOS update, but aside from that, the only thing you can really do is optimize the resources that are there. So, for example, you can um, provide the access to an additional CPU core, which of course Microsoft did. Uh, if you're not too familiar with that, we've covered it in depth on our Xbox One SDK analysis, which is a series of articles, as well as videos on the channel. Um, it's linked in the article, which is linked in the video description, so I've put a link within a link so you can link while you link. But you could also just search SDK analysis on the ch channel if you prefer in video form. Completely and utterly up to you. So they've given access to the 7th CPU core, more specifically around 80% of it, uh, providing they don't want to, or developer rather, doesn't want to utilize Connect. They've given developers access to a completely new uh, graphics drive. In fact, there were dual graphics drivers in the Xbox One for a short amount of time. There have been multiple iterations of the APIs for uh, ES RAM access, and that's my phone because I'm a twit and forgot to turn it off. Thank you very much, person, whoever just texted me. It's probably a Twitter update, to be totally fair. Um, now, What's rather interesting about all of this is this obviously coincides with m numerous other things which are happening for Microsoft, including DirectX 12. And in fact, the candidate must have experience in one or more of the following DirectX GPU Performance Optimization, HLSL, which... Uh, if you don't want the acronym, means high level shading language or shader language. And finally, texture formats and compression. Obviously, the latter two are rather important because of things such as tiled resources and compression as a whole is very important with graphics because of, well, things take up a lot of memory and that's bad. Very bad. Um, so, it's not a surprise Microsoft is still working on this, 
But what I think is quite cool is the fact that they are still building new features. Um, so it's obvious that they're still working very diligently and they don't feel that they're anywhere near tapped out with the system. The second point that I think is rather interesting is that they're still expanding the team. So obviously they're putting yet more resources into this and for all we know they've shifted around some of their internal divisions and it's possible. The third thing that I think is kind of cool is that not only are they doing this in a very organic way but I think that it coincides with uh, technologies such as DirectX 12 which obviously is going to be kind of important for the Xbox One. Now obviously the performance benefits of DX12 are somewhat up in the air, but we do know that the Xbox One will benefit from it. And hey, you know what? Let's assume worst case scenario and we get 5% extra performance. I'm not saying that that's what anyone said, I'm just throwing it out as an arbitrary number. Let's say 5% of additional uh, performance on the system. But we do know that it's going to get better porting, easier porting from both the PC, well, more specifically Windows 10 version of the PC, or OS, to Xbox One and vice versa. So, you know what? It's all gravy in my opinion. I don't, I don't see any negatives. And eventually, of course, the system will hit its peak, just like the PlayStation 4. Obviously, Sony are working on their stuff behind closed doors. I really wish that we'd get an SDK leak from the PlayStation 4. It's actually surprising to me that the Xbox One version was leaked, but the PS4 version still hasn't been. And it's kind of ticking me off just a little bit, because I'm... I'm let's, let's use the word really curious. What the hell Sony are doing? Particularly with the 6th, or rather 7th CPU core and some of the other things. Uh, also the memory uh, division as well within the system. Very curious stuff. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. I'll uh, see you soon. Take care. If you can do the likey, sharey, commenty thing, I would be pretty damn grateful indeed. But for now, take care.